So previously we had already discussed the process of non-disjunction of chromosomes during meiosis, during gametogenesis and that lead to formation of abnormal gametes. The gametes that were formed they were either having an extra chromosome that is trisomy or having a one less chromosome that is monosomy right now we will discuss that what happens when the process of non-disjunction occurs during mitosis and when during mitosis during early embryogenesis and that lead to mosaicism what does this mosaicism and this all these things mean we will discuss that in a very logical way so hello i am dr azal from medicovisual.com welcome to this visual lecture so let's suppose that normal gametes are formed here normal male gamete and normal female gametes they are formed and they are having normal number of chromosomes then they will fuse together by the process of fertilization they will fuse together to form a pretty much normal what is that cell zygote. single cell zygote it will form zygote and this zygote is also normal having normal number of chromosomes right and now what will happen with this zygote is that this zygote will undergo the process of mitosis it will arrange on the mitotic plate in the midline and uh, then spindle fibers will arise and they will pull these chromatids far apart from each other and then they will separate so chromatids are separated and now here you can see now it has been divided into two daughter cells zygote has been divided into two daughter cells but now here you can see something interesting going on that the size of these daughter cells it is it is half of that of parent cell it is about 50 percent of that of parent cell it is not equal to that of parent cell but it is smaller than parent cell and then this process will, will when this process will proceed further again the daughter cells that will be formed they will also be further smaller than that of parent cell why it is happening here we have already discussed but it is worth mentioning here again that it is still surrounded by what is this a glycoprotein coat outside and the name of this glycoprotein coat is zona pellucida, zona pellucida. Right, so it is still surrounded by zona pellucida so the daughter cells they are formed they cannot grow in size they cannot uh, you can say gather more uh, cytoplasm and more organelles to increase their size that normally happens so that is why the size of daughter cells is smaller than that of parent cell and this type of mitosis this special type of mitosis it is called cleavage so cleavage is nothing but it is a special type of mitosis in which size of daughter cell it is smaller than that of parent cell all these are single chromatids here now so these single chromatids they will copy themselves during uh, the s phase of interface they will copy themselves and another chromatid will form in front of that that is happening after the cell division during interphase of cell cycle so you know these things now after this interphase again another cycle of mitosis will start and these two cells they will further divide into daughter cells so first this cell will be dividing in this animation again arranged on mitosis and spindle fibers rising and now you can see something abnormal happened here that here what should have happened that here this this chromatid should should have separated this chromatid this chromosome should have been disjoined that one chromatid should have came here and the other chromatid should be here but here that process did not happen and here there is non disjunction of this chromosome so there is non disjunction of this this chromosome chromosome and because of this reason this 
this cell is this cell has got an extra chromosome here right this cell has got an extra chromosome here and this cell has got one less chromosome right then during interphase again copying of chromatids and now when dna polymerase will come here or replicase will come here it will copy not just this chromatid but also this chromatid because it is having two chromatids right so there will be extra chromosome formed here so now you can see what has happened here that there is one less chromosome this homologous chromosome is now lonely it is not having that extra pair and it is having an extra pair clear so this is trisomy here and this is monosomy here this could be any chromosome let's suppose this is a chromosome number one so because of non disjunction there is chromosome number let's say 21 okay let's suppose this is a chromosome number 21 and this is chromosome number 21 monosomy in this cell and there is chromosome number 21 trisomy in this cell and now this cell will also undergo cleavage but it has fortunately underwent a normal cleavage that is there is pretty much normal chromosome there is normal diasomy or bisomy of all the chromosomes here right so now what is the end result here that one fourth of cell have monosomy monosomy 21 let's suppose and one fourth of the cell have trisomy trisomy 21 and these two fourth of the cells they are normal now let's suppose these are autosomal chromosomes so body cannot tolerate the monosomy of autosomal chromosomes right so this cell will be lost and ultimately we have now some of the cells that have trisomy and other cells that are pretty much normal so in early embryo now we have some we know this early embryo it consists of mixture of cells that are and that mixture consists of normal cell as well as trisomy cells normal cells as well as those cells that have trisomy of chromosome number 21 now when this embryo will develop into ultimately a complete human being that pattern will also be shifted into that complete human being and that human being will have again some cells that will have trisomy 21 and other cells that will be pretty much normal so will that human being develop uh, trisomy 21 i mean down syndrome or not no he will develop trisomy 21 that is down syndrome but this type of down syndrome will be milder form of down syndrome we call it trisomy 21 mosaicism or mosaic down syndrome down syndrome it is mosaic down syndrome it is milder form of down syndrome and the degree of intensity of disease it depends upon that at which level of embryogenesis the trisomy has occurred here at two cell stage trisomy has occurred so it will be relatively severe form but if let's suppose trisomy occurred at let's suppose uh, 16th cell stage then the disease will be much much milder maybe there it is quite possible that the person may even not develop any disease because very few cells will be abnormal it is said that very few cells even in a normal person in the brain of normal person they have observed that some of cells are abnormal abnormal in a sense that there may be some trisomy or monosomy even in normal person right so this was the concept of mosaicism so this mosaicism it comes from english word which means this simple mosaic pattern right so because there is mosaic pattern of cells that some cells are normal some are abnormal there is mixture of normal and abnormal cells so that is why we call this condition as mosaicism and mosaicism is due to 
non disjunction also it can also be due to anaphase lag and in next lecture we will discuss what is anaphase lag here i would like to mention another important point that this what i have described just now it is the mosaicism of somatic cells what are somatic cells all other cells other than gametes all other cells other than gametes are somatic cells so it was the problem with somatic cells but what if mosaicism occurs in somatic cell then what will happen then half of the somatic cell will be uh, sorry half of the gametes will be normal and half of the gametes will be abnormal and the uh, half of the children they will have the that abnormality and half of the children they may be normal depending upon the severity right depending upon the degree of mosaicism here i would like to mention an other important point regarding the mosaicism that mosaicism is not just limited to numerical chromosomal abrasion i mean uh, mosaicism is not just related to trisomy or monosomy it may be possible that at let's suppose this three stage uh, three celled embryo one of the cell it may acquire some genetic mutation right one of this cell it may acquire some genetic mutation may be due to radiation or some drug the dna may acquire a mutation and other cells they may be normal and again the result will be very much same what will be the result that in the complete human beings again there will be mosaic pattern of that mutation that there will be this complete human his cells will be a mixture of normal and abnormal cells so whatever the type of mutation may be it may lead to milder form of disease clear for example there may be mutation related to let's say hemophilia then again what happen the human will have mosaic pattern of cells that some of cell will be containing that hemophilia gene and some of cell will be normal so there will be again mixture of normal and hemophilic cells so that is mosaicism thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please press the thumbs up button please subscribe to my channel and please give your precious comments regarding this video thank you